to now want to take you to Nyeri County. But the Kenya Tourism Board is currently holding a meeting with uh, regional tourism stakeholders to talk about strategies to improve tourism in that part of the country. To give us more details about this, let's bring in Martin Munene. Talk to us a little bit, Martin, about the tourism sites in Nyeri County and, of course, uh, the sort of discussions that will be happening in that forum. All right, a very good morning to you, Wahiga Maura from Nyeri County, and we're coming to you live from the White Rhino Hotel in Nyeri Town, uh, where a meeting between uh, the Kenya Tourism Board and stakeholders actually uh, in the hotel and tourism industry, not just across Nyeri, but in the entire central region. And uh, with me here is a gentleman who's going to help us understand what Mount Kenya has to offer and also help us understand why we've seen as a country Mount Kenya has not been marketed as a destination for tourists compared to areas like the coast so we're going to have a talk with him and he's going to help us understand maybe what are the reasons we've seen that and maybe what are they doing to change the trend as it has been uh karibu sana uh, can you let us know who you are and uh, also very briefly tell us uh we have seen kenya tourism uh has been uh, anybody who says a tourist in kenya the picture that comes to mind is uh, the coast and the masai mara uh what has been happening in this region okay my name is edward wangeshi i am the regional chairman Kenya Association of Hotel Keepers and Caterers. And uh, yes, your question is very paramount. Uh, and for me, I would say that is the past. That, that is what has happened. Uh, for many years, we have only uh, focused uh, uh, Kenya as a destination of only beach and safari. Uh, but uh, for now, uh, I will tell you, uh, that Kenya has got quite diverse diversity in terms of what can be offered in terms of products for tourists and, and Mount Kenya is one of them Mount Kenya has got uh, Mount Kenya uh, which in comparison to Mount Kili has not been doing significantly well like it should be and uh, I can tell you I have been to Mount Kenya twice I've climbed up to Point Lenana Point uh, Mount Kenya has got a lot of uh, in, in terms of experience it is and should be more better than Mount Kili uh, but for a long time we have not marketed that as a product but this now going forward it is high time that the region and the mountain is marketed over and above that Mount Kenya region has got a history of its own the colonial uh, touch has got the the queen uh, being engaged around Mount Kenya and uh, we have the agribusiness coffee we have got the tea we've got uh, we, we know very well one of the biggest marathon is run around the region uh, in the in the Lewa uh, therefore um, Mount Kenya is an area that uh, should be put in focus and that is what is happening right now uh, so that uh, it's not only beach and safari all right. Uh, let me ask you. Uh, there has been. We are just. Uh, we, we just come from an election, and also apart from the election, which was relatively peaceful compared to elections in the past, we saw the Raila Odinga Uhuru handshake. Has that had a trickle effect uh, when it comes to tourism, especially in this region? Uh, one thing that is very, very important for everyone to note: all over the world, uh, tourism thrives when there is peace. And when we have peace, even locally, domestically, and regionally, it means that even me, I can, I am able to travel locally when there is peace. And therefore, the handshake between Right Honorable Raila Odinga and uh, the President Uhuru Kenyatta is a very positive thing. And us as stakeholders, we take it very positively. And we want to believe that now, going forward, we are looking forward for a positive uh, aspect of tourism growth. All right. uh, and maybe finally, as I let you go, what are some of the things that you're going to maybe do to ensure that uh, uh, Mount Kenya as a region is able to effectively compete with, say, the coast and also, like we say, the Masai Mara and other regions? Um, as um, I, I would say, uh, w w one of the most important things is um, as the regional chairman of Mount Kenya region, Kenya Association of Hotel Keepers, it, the most important thing is to involve the stakeholders so that every stakeholder, every investor, including the, the governments themselves, the county governments and the main government, to involve them and, you know, come up and work together on strategies and plans of how to market. And since there is a goodwill, yes, that is going to happen. Okay, and maybe uh, the last question would be, uh, compared uh, to the past, we've got uh, foreign tourists and local tourism. Have we seen changes in this trend? And maybe uh, what should be done to ensure that we also see uh, Kenyans also enjoying what we have as a country as tourists? Uh, one thing that I, I'll say for the past, even the international media has been very negative about Kenya. Even something that is, you know, not worth being in the news has been in the news, and that has affected international tourism. But thank God, our domestic uh, tourism has been picking up and we've seen um, positive development and mindset in terms of Kenya's travel and uh, we have literally 
for now several years survived on domestic tourists. International tourists are important, but then even domestic. And this is what we need also to continue encouraging Kenyans to travel so that they can support the industry. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Wahiga, like you've heard uh, from the gentleman, uh, is that we are seeing changes in the trend when it comes to the tourism industry, more local or more uh, actually Kenyans are actually traveling to enjoy what we have as a country. But you know, we're going to begin to see if this trend actually changes because Kenya has for the longest time been branded uh, as a destination uh, where people come and go to the beach. And also a very important thing that he's saying, we have a mountain, Mount Kenya, but compared to Mount Kilimanjaro, we've not been able to attract tourists tourists as many tourists uh, to the mount kenya region as it has been in uh, the kilimanjaro uh, that is what we have here in Nyeri county back to in studio higa unless you've got a question for us thank you so much martin no question for now but uh, definitely good insights that you've given us regarding tourism in that region and of course the bigger picture when it comes to tourism and the country thank you martin Munen, live from Nyeri county now as we mentioned earlier a nairobi chief